Hello and welcome guys to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can play my Mugen mod. And the good news is the Mugen mod has finally been released which I have been making for a long time, really long time that is. Now it's completed. So today I'm going to show you how you can play. First of all, you just have to go to the link in the description. If you go there you'll find something like this. Uh, I suggest you use PC to download this file and then just click download through browser and that will start the download because it's showing you that the download has, is starting it might take a little long time but it will download I'll just pause it because I have downloaded it so now as I was saying I have this file because I already made the game so the I'll just open the file for a bit this is the file which you are going to download it's a raw file and its size is 4.10 GB and after you have extracted the file it will be something like 8.17 or yeah that's the disk on side there you go so first of all you just gotta extract it you can use extract files or you can use extract here I'll just use extract files then you can just select any of this uh, and then click OK I guess I'll just use extract here and then extract here because I have this file so it's just telling me will I replace it or not uh, the extraction might take a little bit time so I will not do this because I already have the file so open the file which you have extracted then this is the thing you this is the file you want to open because this is the main game and to tell you the truth the game will take a long time, really long time to load because it has 600 characters which is over 8 GB so it will take a long time to load. It will take about 7 to 10 minutes in real life and that's a really long time so you just have to wait it. Please wait, don't close the game because it will take a long time. And once you have opened it and closed it and then if you open the game again it will come instantly so to make this video short I've already done that so now if I just click it it should come really fast and to play the game full screen you'll just have to use alter plus enter or you can say alt plus enter that will make the game full screen and the controls are semicolons dots and those stuffs I'll go to that later uh, the arcade mode is the story mode you can find all 600 characters of them and also you can just use the first smooth play against your friend or any other f members of your family or something like that using the keyboard you can play double player I'll just show you how you can see the controls use the semicolon to open this as you can see there is a time limit I'll just set it to none you can use F1 or F2 to config the controls so as I was saying you can use F1 or F2 sorry about the destruction uh, you can just go to the player settings and set up all the controls I'll just set mine which I already be, been using you can set this to anything and now I've just changed the controls there you go I'll just play the game I should play it with Goku but which Goku should I select uh, I'll just select this Goku. Okay. So that's the game. You can play it, you can watch matches from here. I'll just go to the random select and select two players from here and then you can just do anything and you can also select stadiums in here the random stage uh, this one is a great stadium uh, there are also other stadiums which are good uh, this one's that's that you can play the game from here and I'll just show you how you can use them any moves in your game uh, you can just go from here I mean sorry I just didn't explain how to do that 
go to the Mugen folder, open the Chars folder. Then you can use any player. I'll, uh, Kirito is my f one of the favorites, so I'll just use Kirito. Search Kirito. There you go. You can see like this file, but I'm gonna just scroll down the list and select Kirito from here to show you guys there are two ways. Okay, there you go, Kirito. Then all you gotta do is open the README file. In here you can see U is up, D is down. These are all the stuffs. And there you go. Here's all of those combos you wanna use in the games. These are really cool stuff. So I'll just explain one of these. Horizontal strike is D, D, F, F plus P. And these are down, down plus forward, forward plus punch any punch that is okay so that should use the horizontal square you can use any kind of moves for any character in your game you will have a readme file and if you don't have a readme file you can open uh, their other stuff and there you go the bitme file that is he just renamed it really weirdly and you can see all those combos of this guy as well so that's all the combos you want to use and this is the game I've been making so far Please enjoy the game and this video has been really long. I'm sorry for that I didn't mean to make it that long and once again, please play the game and If you enjoy this video, please like the button. I mean hit the like button and Subscribe my channel for more videos. I'll be making more games and sharing more videos about this technology stuff so please subscribe and thanks for watching the video and if you like the video please comment in the YouTube I mean if you like the game please comment in the YouTube or my Facebook page Pita Mama's Crazy Workshop and I'll just send a link to the page that is and goodbye and please play the game once again.